I've done probably now about four or five thousand kilometers with this screen as opposed to the one which is the original one that comes with the bike. How's it and welcome back boys and girls. Welcome back to Cape Town. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Mike and I like to make motorbike travel videos and anything that might be related to help you um, enjoy your bike. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about uh, a windscreen that I've had. I've had an extended touring screen for a while. Um, I've done probably now about four or five thousand kilometers with this screen as opposed to the one which is the original one that comes with the bike. So what I wanted to do is just give you a little bit of feedback of what I think of this one. Uh, what's it? A puke? Puge? I'm not sure how to say that, but that's what it is. Uh, I want to give you some feedback of what I think of that one compared to the original one and then um, some ideas of what might be helpful to you. This is obviously the original one that comes with it from Honda and then this is uh, an extended touring one. So just to give you an idea of the difference between the two, there is about this much, a hands width extension than the original one that's fitted with the bike. That doesn't seem like much, but I must admit the difference in riding and the wind on your face is considerable. I found I was riding much more with the visor flipped up uh, and not being affected by the wind. So there is definitely a marked difference in the amount of windage that you get from the original one to the, the extended touring one, even though it's just a small section that's added on the top. A few th things where people have asked is, does the handlebars hit the bark busters and the, do they all knock together? But there you can see that's at full and there's nothing here. And if I go the other side, again, there's nothing there. Um, the one thing I need to be careful of is if I have got the mount for the camera, depending on where it is, that could, in theory, that could that could get in the way. But I know that that's an, uh, something I need to look out for. If I was standing up riding, that was the only time anything felt any different because now the windscreen is that much closer to my face. So it took a while to, to get used to being stood up and you leant forwards and the top of the screen is now a little bit closer to you. But it's not in the way, it's just it's closer to you than the original one. Also this one is a smoked one and this one was a clear one. For me I prefer the clear one but only because if I've got cameras looking this way, uh, obviously the smoked version, it's not as nice to see through as if it was the clear one. So if this came in a clear, I don't know, I don't know if it does, but if this was in a clear colour, um, that would be perfect. So I don't know what I'm going to do next, whether I'm going to put this one back, I'm just going to experiment between the two and see, and see how it goes. But between the two, the extended one does make a considerable difference to the windage on your face compared to, compared to, the, to the original. So I'm going to leave all the links for this particular screen, this, this one. I'll leave the links down below so that if this is something that you fancy, you can go and uh, get yourselves one of those. As with most of the stuff that I get for this bike in South Africa, it comes from a very cool shop in Cape Town called Flying Brick. So if you want anything for your CB and you're in this part of the world, then give the guys a shout there. <laughs> 